Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. Let's see what's the, what you got going on this week, okay guys? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, and all of your subscribes. They're all so, so greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy, okay? Guys, remember, energy is fluid. Time is fluid. Only take what you need. Leave everything else behind. You can flip and switch the energy however you see fit. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading. I do have two new decks available for purchase. They're down in the description below via my website. I will be offering discounts this week on those cards. I have a new Oracle deck and a new Tarot deck, and I will be using it this morning in the reading as well. All right, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Show me, Spirit. What's the energy? What's the energy surrounding my Virgos this week? What's the energy coming towards my Virgos this week? Ask for help. Okay, we'll take the first one because we wanted one. It says, ask for help. Angels are celestial beings who protect everyone. And the fairies say now is the time for you to ask for angelic assistance. So I feel like this week is giving me a heavy energy. It's definitely giving me a heavy energy. Your spirit guides and your angels, let's see what this said. Your spirit guides and your angels are saying that this week you may need to ask for help. And it's okay. It's okay to ask for help. That's what your angels and your spirit guides are here for. And then we have magical gateway. It takes courage and trust to venture into the unknown. Yet there, this is where the greatest rewards are. It's time to step boldly forward without looking back. So for some of you guys, if you've been, there's a reason why spirit wanted me to pull this card back. If you've been in a place where you haven't been sure if you should take a leap of faith towards something. If you are contemplating something, if you are second guessing a decision that you have made or a decision that you are going to be making, Spirit is saying, do not do that. Do not do that. Do not do that. It is time for you to step boldly forward. That takes courage. And for some of you guys, if you're feeling that, that strong energy whereas you're doubting yourself you're doubting your circumstances you're doubting your path why because things may have not been going the way that you want you projected that it would go spirit is saying to keep pushing through keep pushing through and spirit is also saying that you guys may need to ask for some assistance ask for some help heartache over what you no longer have yeah see that spear that was the first card that came out when they, but I, I put all the others back. It says spear heartache over what you no longer have. I feel like for some of you guys, you're feeling, you're feeling the pain of a decision that you've had to make. You've had to put up walls. You had to put up boundaries with someone. I'm getting a child for some of you guys. And I'm also getting someone that it's definitely someone that really matters to you. Definitely someone that you that really matters to you. I feel like spirit is saying for you to keep pushing forward. You the decision that you made, you had you were justified in making that decision. You were justified in making that decision, but there is some heartache over that decision. But if you were wondering, spirit is saying you were justified. We have angels, spiritual guidance, protection from harm, a lot of protection, a lot of protection. If you're re if you get to a point this week where you're kind of weary of circumstances, situations, if you're kind of down and out, if it's like 
pray to your angels ask for help spirit is saying that they are here to help they're here to aid you if you feel some type of harm or some type of negative thoughts spirit is saying that your spirit asks for spiritual guidance to get you through that moment i'm getting i'm hearing a moment of weakness as well cracked cup dissatisfaction with life yeah so at any point in time this week if you're feeling a sense of dissatisfaction in life ask for help i feel like this is a big energy a lot of you guys from what i'm seeing is that there's going to be a need for you to ask for help you are going to feel some type of way this week some of you guys are some of you guys may not but your spirit guides are definitely telling you guys to ask for assistance and then we have dogs getting together with friends for some of you guys you could have a friend that's going to be there in your time of need and then we have rabbit too much concern with sexual matters so for some of you guys I feel like this is going I feel like this is one of this is one of you guys energy. I I don't feel like this could be an energy of you or somebody that you're dealing with, but it's also giving me the energy that for some of you guys, this message is meant for someone it's not meant for everyone. But there is a there there is a relationship or connection that you're in and it's all sexual. It's all sac sexual. Um, and I feel like it's a back and forth energy. I feel like it's, it's a very lustful energy. It's an energy that I feel like for some, for someone here, it's like, you can't escape it. Um, it doesn't do you any justice. I feel like the intertwining or dealing with the person that this is with, I feel like it doesn't truly make you feel better. It doesn't truly get you what you want, but it's like you're holding on somebody here. It's like you're holding on to hope. Spirit is also saying that it is time to step forward without looking back. This is giving me a looking back energy. For some of you guys, that's why you're dissatisfied right now because your efforts, you're starting to feel like your efforts are going in vain. But it's, given, it's also giving me a codependent energy. Yeah. That message is meant for someone. It's not meant for everyone. Show me spirit. Sorry, guys. I got a little head cold. What is it, spirit? What is it that my Virgos are asking for help for this week? Or what are you helping my Virgos with this week, Spirit? What are you helping? Healer. Helping you heal. You have the spiritual gift of healing and a desire to share it with others. I feel like Spirit is helping a lot of you guys tap into your healing abilities. Spirit is also here this week to help you heal windfall of abundance wow you're going to be gifted with some abundance an increase in abundance is arriving in many different forms some of them unexpected be open to receiving and know that this abundance comes to you to support your life's purpose health and charitable work so spirit is coming in to help you your angels is coming in to help you and for and to help you help others that's a nice energy we have writing body work for some of you guys you have some health issues that your spirit guides are going to be aiding you with for some of you guys you are writers you are artists you have crafts that your spirit guides are directing you along a different type of path helping others healing others through your writing through your craft nutrition getting your flowers some of you guys you're embracing a career change music some of you guys are deciding to go back to school you have to block out some distractions I feel like somebody here is being spiritually enlightened.
bottom of the deck, we have no more complaining. I feel like somebody here is being spiritually enlightened to block out distractions to somebody's being pulled into a different direction. There's a big energy of some of you guys um, not only putting up boundaries, putting up walls, is, is maintaining these boundaries, doing what is best for yourself to get to, you're trying to manifest something and it's giving an energy of something has been distracting you and it's like, it's even though it's kind of like an oh so bittersweet walk away it's like a, you're walking away from someone or something but it's been in your life for a while and it's not an easy walk away it's not an easy takeaway some of you guys are going towards a music career some of you guys are going towards an artistry career some of you guys are going towards a writing career some of you guys are going towards healing some of you guys are going towards earthly matters flowers getting into herbal medicines getting into some of you guys are starting your own restaurant i'm also hearing like a, a um a food nutrition blog some of you guys are opening a flower boutique there some of you guys you're embarking on a different career perspective you're embarking on a career change it says you're embarking upon a career that brings you the joy and abundance you desire and deserve some of you guys, you're going to be working with flowers. It opens your heart and brings blessings to others through your life's purpose. I feel like for some of you guys, I'm seeing a flower arrangement through via basket. I see some of you guys cooking for friends and family. It says you conduct healing work with your culinary skills, healing the heart. There's a lot of healing. There's a lot of help. I feel like spirit, your spirit guides and your angels are willing and working to help you so you can help others through your work through your work through music through your art through your writing through your food through what it is that you create with your hands some of you guys you're truly making a decision this week to pursue a different change it says block out distractions your life purpose and other priorities need your undivided attention so it is time for you to take charge of your schedule and working environment by turning off electronics and avoiding anyone or anything that distracts you from what's important you already know what these distractions are and you have the power to responsibly block them out see that if you have any of these distractions, if you're feeling a sense of loss, not being accomplished, like you're not accomplishing enough this week, your spirit guides and your angels are saying for you to ask for help. Angels are celestial beings who protect everyone. And the fairies say now is the time for you to ask for angelic assistance. For some of you guys, you may want to pursue these changes. You may want to pursue these changes and your spirit guides and your angels are saying that this week is a good time for you guys because you know we're still feeling the energy of the solar eclipse. We're currently in Mercury retrograde. Mercury retrograde is not a really good it's not a good time to truly turn and get turn make changes within relationships but it is a time to make changes within your life willingly or unwillingly changes will happen right now present moment yeah just ask for assistance ask for help if you're feeling like you're not sure what route you should be taking your spirit guides are saying for you to ask for help show me spirit Show me what I need to see for my Virgos this week. I don't know what that is. Shedding old skin. Stop faking the funk. Look at that. You've outgrown something. You're shedding your old skin. You've changed. You've transformed. It's like you've gone undergone a metamorphosis is what I'm hearing. A lot of you guys, you're, you've undergone a metamorphosis. You've shedded your old skin. Spirit is also saying for you to stop faking the funk. I feel like there's, there's some of you guys, you are faking the funk. There's something that you want, but why are you acting like you don't? 
Why are you acting like you don't? Are there something that you want to do? There's something that you can do, but you are limiting yourself. Healing, rest, food for thought. I feel like this is food for thought. I feel like there's a lot of healing that needs to be done. A lot of you guys need to get some rest as well. A lot of you guys need to do some get some rest as well. But I feel like there's going to be someone, if not you, someone coming in this week that's going to help you. It says, stop it, stupid. See that? Stop faking the funk. Somebody here is partaking in something that's not beneficial. Somebody here is partaking in something that's not beneficial. Somebody here fe feels weak towards something, someone. You know intuitively exactly who you are. You know who you are. But it says, stop it, stupid. Somebody is actually, that's how you might feel. That you, sometimes you may feel stupid after the fact. It's giving me an after the fact energy. Because you're still entertaining something or someone. Because you're limiting yourself. Because you're settling. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or have that strongly in your chart. There's some high expectations. I feel like there's someone here. You're dealing with somebody. I feel like this is a parent. This person has some very high expectations for you. And you're not able to live your own life the way that you want to live your life. Or this is something lying to self. See that? Like somebody here, you're lying to yourself about a situation. That you can change a situation and you know exactly who you are. Somebody here, you're lying to yourself. Huh. Wow. That's a strong energy. That's a very strong, a very significant energy. Somebody here, you're, you're dissatisfied with life. Yeah. There's a big energy. Somebody here, you're dissatisfied with life. Somebody here, you're experiencing heartache over what you no longer have. Somebody here is struggling with coming to terms with something that you no longer have. Somebody here, too much concern with sexual matters. You're dealing with somebody, they have too much concern with sexual matters, or you could, but it's not benefiting you. I feel like there's an, a sense of feeling of emptiness even more after the fact. Hmm. Getting together with friends. For some of you guys, you're getting together with friends, but I'm also getting for some of you guys, you have a friend in your, in your mix that you yeah you could be getting together with this person but you may be a little stupid for this person like you may allow this person to get one over on you because you love them because you care for them i feel like this friend is somebody that actually plays on your emotions that message is meant for someone it's not meant for everyone four of diamonds what are you holding on for dear life out of greed or fear see that somebody's holding on to something for dear life this is out of greed and out of fear what are you scared of losing the moon there's secrets there's something hidden hidden emotions you're hiding your emotions you're scared to lose you're scared to lose cancer energy yeah, somebody here, you've built up some type of illusion. And I feel like it's coming out. I feel like this week is like, it's like, this is, it's coming out. It's coming to the surface. It's bubbling up inside of someone. And your spirit guides are wanting you to ask for help, ask for assistance. Because this is like somebody here, that anxiety and that stress and that sleeplessness is going to get the best of you. It's definitely going to get the best of you this week. I feel like because that, that's what's going on. There is distractions. You've been having distractions. You want something, but you're allowing someone to distract you from what it is that you want. And it could be a career, a job. It could be a family member. It could be a lover. You're allowing something to hold you back. For a lot of you guys, it's that it's, it's, it's you. It's, it's that lacking mentality that's holding you back. And then we have Knight of Cups. 
So a message of love is going to come in, deliverer of, of emotions. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy. This is about a friendship. This is a big energy about a friendship. It's having a conversation. I feel like for some of you guys, this is you having a conversation with a friend this week, expressing how you feel, expressing your concerns. You could be expressing to a friend that you love them or they could be expressing that, that they love you. But this is like, yes, expressing those feelings, but also it's like, okay, let me tell you how I feel about you, but let me tell you what I don't like about you. That's kind of the energy that I'm getting. It's very emotional and it's, it's coming from a loving place, but it's definitely going to stir the pot is what I'm getting. It's like putting somebody in their place. Somebody's putting someone in their place. All oh, these is in reverse. Knight of Diamonds. The Emperor and the Hermit. Oh, wow. Someone here could actually be walking away from a job this week. Someone here could actually be walking away from a job this week. We have the Knight of Diamonds in the reverse. This is giving a message. This has to do with your work. This has to do with your career, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Not wanting to give in anymore with the Emperor in reverse. A father, an older man, Aries energy. This is a boss, an authority figure. Somebody has been trying to control you. This is not giving. I feel like there's someone here you're not giving in to a father figure. You're not giving in to a boss. You're making a decision to not give, to not invest. Sending up it's like there's there's a lack of communication as well. It's like a blockage in communication between you and this person with the hermit Virgo energy. This is about someone not listening to their intuitions. Someone go this is isolating yourself separating yourself somebody here is separating themselves from a father figure from a boss from a job someone here is taking back control over someone that has been trying to manipulate them someone that's been trying to control them with money material finances someone here is going into solitude someone here is withdrawing their energy from someone here bottom of the deck we have shadow side lurking in the dark i feel like a lot of you guys this week you're going to be dealing with your shadow side i feel like this is an energy of what's what's lurking in the darkness how are you feeling when you're alone that's a big energy for a lot of you guys it's not just one or two individuals I feel like this week, a lot of you guys, you're going to be, there's, there's something here that's, that's lurking in the darkness for you. There's something here that needs to be addressed. There's some type of, I'm getting a big depression energy here. Let's see. What's my Virgos facing this week emotionally? Four of Wands. You're dealing with family. You're dealing with relationships, your home, your foundation this week, your soul connection. So for a lot of you guys, your family is going to shake up your emotions this week. Your loved ones are going to shake up. It's all about your loved ones. Your home and your foundation is going to be shaken up this week. What's happening this week for my Virgo spirit? We have temperance, Sagittarius energy. You're growing impatient over your emotions some of you guys you want new love there's ace of cups is here as well you want balance you want you want now you want timing now but you know what this is like an almost this is like an almost it's not here yet for some of you guys if you're wanting new love new love is coming in it's for you to be patient it's balanced new love it's all about timing it's all about timing, but your spirit guides want you to be patient. Strong Sagittarius energy. Your spirit guides want you to be patient because I do see new love coming in with this Ace of Cups. 
So there is some new love coming in and there's new emotions. I feel like this is like six of diamonds. Someone could be gifting you with something this week and it's going to open the door towards the potential of a new beginning. A new emotional beginning, something that fulfills your heart, something that something that brings brings some true emotions. Something that brings some true emotions towards you, for you. Show me spirit. Is for you to surrender sky dancer surrender control somebody here you're trying <laughs> it's not even about trying to control something somebody here you feel depleted ancestral wisdom lay of the land closing door you guys got this for the weekend as well where a door was being closed and it says heart home compassion there's a lot of things happening with your home life this week there's a lot of things happening within your home life this week there's a lot of things that are happening within your family this week there is a need for you to surrender control because whatever is going to unfold is out of your hands Whatever's going to unfold is out of your hand. There is the closing of a door. There's a completion of something for a lot of you guys this week. Whether it has to do with a relationship, whether it has to, there's a closing. Some of you guys could be closing on a new home this week. But I'm getting a big energy of you closing the door on something to do with your family, your friends, a job, a career. You're closing a door, but there's another door that's going to be open. There's a potential of it, but one door has to be closed. Big energy. Let's see. Show me spirit. Show me what you would like to say to my Virgos. Okay. Patience. You guys always get patience and jewel. Okay. Gratitude's at the bottom of the deck. Patience is required at the moment. There's a lot of patience here. You may feel that things are not moving as fast as you would like, yet there's a lot going on energetically. I know you guys are feeling it. I'm feeling it energetically. There's a lot going on. The current situation causing concern is evoking is evolving positively. For some of you guys, this is this really and truly has to do within the, the walls of your home, the confinements of your home, the confinements of your relationship, the confinements of your work, your career itself. It says, let go and have patience. You will eventually realize that this whole event was in fact a blessing. All is perfect as it is. Trust you are eternally loved and guided. Your spirit guides wants you to be patient with the situations that you're going to be in, you're going to be embarking on this week. There's going to be I feel like there's someone here in your energy they're also going to be testing your patience. We have jewel. Every event in life presents us with a new opportunity to experience ever greater love. There is a jewel to be found within every teardrop trust we your angels are guiding the current events this is a time in which you and those close to you will emerge strengthened by ever greater bonds of love trust there is nothing to fear there is only love trust in your spirit guides trust in your angels all right my loves that is what i have for you guys i hope you have a wonderful wonderful week until next time bye guys